I am going to the live hacking event. Having so many talented hunters there, I need to do my best and maybe even more. I found a bug on literally the first day of hacking. Close as informative. I, I'm not finding anything. Worst time of my professional career. Aligned perfectly for a really, really nice bug. $10,000, this bug is, is even better than $13,000. Total of $1,000. just learned that I will be going to my first live hacking event. I just got the email of the invitation to H1702 in Vegas, close to, to DEF CON. I have no idea who the customer is. I have no idea about pretty much nothing yet. Right now it's 20th May 2024. I'm in Barcelona. I just got the news. I am super, super happy. It was one of my dreams to, to get to a live hacking event. And I, I didn't expect this one as well. I know I've been um, plus one by Justin for the event in January, and then I kind of expected the invitation. And I was quite, um, quite sad I didn't get it. Now, I, I knew there was a possibility I will be going to DEF CON, but um, the live hacking event, I didn't really think a lot about, but I got the invitation. I am incredibly, incredibly happy, and I just, you know, randomly decided to, to spontaneously record this video and I'll probably record the whole journey, the whole... I don't know, I have no idea yet, but if you're watching this, it means that I have come up with a good plan on, on what to record and I have recorded it already. So, without further ado, I won't hold you up here for longer. Mm. Enjoy the video! It is time for the first live hacking event update. It's 27th June, so there's still three more weeks until the start of the virtual phase of the event. But Alex Chapman in the interview gave me a really good tip to start hacking on the target as soon as we know the customers. And we do know the customers already. These are, I hope I can say, if not I will bleep, TikTok and Epic Games. And these targets are I've never hacked on before. So I really, really want to, to use the time before. I already have like started a, a little bit. I just created Bear project and, and Kaido projects. I created my setup and nothing more. But I really do want to get advantage of, of starting a little bit earlier to do some recon because I do feel some pressure, to be honest, to perform at, at this event, you know, just thinking about having so many talented hunters there. Um, does make me feel that I need to do my best and maybe even more to, to do well at the event. And to be honest, I quite like it because uh, normally there's not much pressure in back bounty. You know, you don't directly compete with other people. I'm uh, my hacking style. I rarely find duplicates duplicates. So uh, I do really like the, the push to perform at my best. I'm motivated to do very meticulous notes. Mm, I already created my, my setup with two proxies. I, I proxy the traffic. Kaido will be my main proxy. But in front of Kaido, I use Burp to be able to use Burp browser because I like Dom Invader and to also use some, some passive Burp plugins. I hope the, the, the performance will not, will not be too bad with, with this setup, but uh, we'll see. Also, I want to try the JS Weasel tool for, for the event. It is a tool for working with JavaScript files and it's a commercial tool. Uh, but they asked and um, they offered to extend my trial for the period of the whole event. So a uh, huge thanks for them and, and a shout out. You can check out the JS Weasel using the link from the description. And also, uh, I'm quite puzzled as to what new things should I add to my, to my hacking style? Because I recorded two podcasts recently, one with Alex Chapman, who who spoke about testing desktop applications and the other one with, with Joel, with uh, TechnoGeek. And he's a, a very good mobile app tester. And one of these targets has a lot of mobile apps, has like four or five different mobile apps in scope. The other target has a lot of desktop apps. 
And I don't know if I should, you know, invest the time now into learning about, you know, basically spending time learning something almost completely new to me, or I should just stick to, to what I know and to, to what I already can do well. I don't know, I will see. I will record an update at, at some point in the future, so I will see it, see it in a few minutes. For now, for me at least, it is a mystery of what will happen, but I am very, very excited. So we are in between the, the virtual phase of the life hacking event and the the in-person phase, I fly to Las Vegas tomorrow. It is uh, 3rd August. And the virtual phase was a real roller coaster for me. Um, it started quite well, at least I thought it does. I found a bug on literally the first day of hacking. And I was happy about it because it was my biggest worry that I would end up the whole event with, with no bugs. I submitted the bug, unfortunately, it was closed as informative. Oh which I could make an argument against it. Maybe I will collaborate with somebody because I think there is a potential that somebody knows better how to show the impact of this. For now, I'm, I, I can't really be upset about this one. So I continued hacking. I submitted another bug. Unfortunately, it was also closed as informative, which I wasn't particularly happy about it. This one, I don't really agree with. I think the attack scenario that I was able to show should be good enough to, to triage this as a medium and maybe as a low, but the program decided otherwise, can't really do much about it. Uh, so I just kept, kept on hacking, but I was finding no bugs. And the, the worst part about it was that I was finding very interesting targets, interesting functionalities where I was like, oh, 100% there are bugs in this functionality. This is too complex to be secure. But the problem was that um, nothing worked, like literally nothing I tried worked. And in some cases I saw the error message and the error message basically told me that, you know, this, there has been an attack here, but we fixed it. Like I, it, sometimes you just feel that the functionality you're, you're testing has been vulnerable before, but, but somebody else got the bounty for it. And I felt like this here and at this point, you also have the Slack channel for all participants where people can ask for collaborations, people can ask questions to programs, people can, can post memes. And in general, I saw that uh, first, not a lot of people were, were finding bugs. People had problems finding bugs. So I felt a little bit better that it's not only me struggling at this point. But the other thing that I noticed was also people are referencing past life hacking events of, of the same customers. And this one was a little bit problematic for me because um, in conjunction also with a lot of people asking questions about the targets I just called interesting. So I was like, okay, a lot of hunters are hunting on the same target as I am. And even worse, they already have the experience from these targets from past life hacking events. And because these targets were part of past hacking events, they are also quite hardened. And then the, they published the leaderboard and I saw that at first there, there weren't many bugs, but then I saw, you know, people, people do find stuff. And at this point, I started feeling horrible, like about one and a half week out of the, the two week virtual phase. It was the worst time of my professional career. Like I've never felt so bad because of my work, because I felt like I, I'm not finding anything. And one week ago, if you asked me, I would say I'm almost sure I will end up the event with no valid bugs. I even, you know, planned initially to record the, the part of, of, of this vlog during the event. But then I was like, if I don't find bugs, there's no point publishing this video. So I didn't record anything during the, uh, during this phase, I felt horrible. I didn't want to hack. I sort of just wanted it to be over. Mm, but then the next week, 
um, I just kept on hacking. I also listened to the podcast from, from listened to advice from my own podcast from one of the recent episodes. And I did find a really interesting target. And all of a sudden, everything clicked like my exploit. All the pieces of the exploit aligned perfectly for a really, really nice bug, uh, which took me like one and a half days to exploit. But it is a really nice bug. I hope I will get the permission to, to create a video about this bug. Mm, but for now, I, I cannot disclose any details. Unfortunately, it is a duplicate, but because it's a duplicate window, uh, I will get half of the bounty, so it doesn't bounty-wise, it doesn't matter if you're the first or the second person uh, reporting the bug in the in the dupe window, you still get get your piece of the bounty. Um, so this is this is the one. Mm, the, the the original report is still in the new phase, so I don't know what will be the risk, but I don't think it will be lower than high. I think it's either high or critical, because I was able to show a lot of impact. So I'm really, really happy about this one. And finally, it was on Epic Games. Um, and as you know from the, from the previous part I recorded, I spent some time before the event. But the sun, funny thing is, I spent all the time before the event on TikTok. And then during the event, up until the last day, I only hacked on Epic Games. And I don't know why, to be honest. Don't ask me. I don't know why it just happened to be this way. But in the, on the last day of the virtual event, I got an email from TikTok about a new functionality in the, um, in the application. And I noticed that I only got this email to my real account, to my real bug bounty reports explained account that has real videos, real followers. I also, maybe this is the important bit, I also actually purchased ads in the past and maybe that's why I got the email to this account and to none of my testing accounts. And I thought, you know, okay, if they just launched a new product now and possibly other hunters did not, got, did not receive an update about this, I should probably look there. In like less than one hour, I found a bug. It is a medium, I reported it as a medium, it's not a super critical bug, but you may say just a medium. Mediums during these life hacking events are paid a lot. On TikTok, a medium gives you the range of two to $9,000. You can get $9,000 for a medium. On Epic, it is, I think, three to 7K. So this, this bug, it was on TikTok. It, it went through the um, pre-triage, it, it is in the pending program review state which means it is not a duplicate. So I'm really happy about it. I hope it will be triaged. I hope TikTok will not come up with some strange reason why it wouldn't be. Then I also found another one. This one, the CVSS said it's high, um, in which it actually is. The problem is it is sort of on the edge of the scope. I do hope it will be, it will be triaged, but it may as well not be. So these are the three reports that I reported during the virtual phase, and I'm still waiting for, for, for updates on, on all of them, to be honest. But then um, in the, this between phase, I also collaborated with, uh, with another hacker, with Jonathan Bauman. And the same bug that, that I, I reported, I told you, is really nice. We found another way to get to the same, to, to achieve the same impact, basically. Part of the exploit is shared between these two, but it is a new bug. And this bug is, is even better than the one I, I submitted myself. Uh, so I, I, again, I really hope I will be able to make a video about this. But this bug we will submit uh, tomorrow once the window reopens. And I hope that nobody has, because the way these things work is there is a dupe window that, that lasts two weeks. So if many people submit the same bug within these two weeks, the reward will be split between all of them. Then there is a pause and then there's another dupe window. And that, that another dupe window is when we submit the bug. But if it turns out that somebody has already reported this bug in the previous dupe window, we will not be splitting the bounty. So let's hope this is not the case. I would be really heartbroken, but 
It is what it is. So I have four reports at the moment that I'm still waiting for them to be processed. I'm, st I'm fairly happy with, with my performance here. I hope that, that the rewards for this will be uh, what I expect them to be. Then I will be really, really happy with this life hacking event. But to be honest, for me, the biggest goal of this life hacking event is not measured in the number of reports, is not measured in the amount of bounty I received. I received, it is measured in whether I will get to um, receive invitations for future life hacking events. Because the goal for me is, uh, for this event, is to show my hacking skills so that I just get to the live hacking event circle and like keep getting these, these invitations to these events. It would be awesome for me. It would be really nice to, to just be, be able to be part of this. So I hope that, that these bugs will get uh, processed well, will get good bounties. Maybe I will even show and tell one of them because Jonathan, who is who has been to many life hacking events, so he knows much more about these than me. Uh, he, he, he told me that this bug is a show and tell material, so maybe we could get to, to show this bug on the stage in Vegas in front of everyone. It would be, it would be mind blowing and an awesome opportunity. Uh, so let's, let's see what happens. Probably the next uh, time I, I, I talk with you will be after the event from, from Vegas. I hope I, I will then I got to report on the bounties that I received. Let's hope they are as high as and they can be. And um, yeah, see you around. And the live hacking event H1702 came to an end. We just finished hacking on TikTok, the, the second day of the in-person phase. Technically, the event ends tomorrow, but the hacking is done. For the moment, I'm 31st overall and 16th on the TikTok leaderboard and I'm really, really happy with this. Obviously, I will fall a bit down once all the bounties are awarded, but I'm really, really happy with what happened and I'm really happy to be here. It was incredible to meet so many people in real life that I've known for years just from Twitter, from YouTube or from different media. They are amazing people. I had so much fun and I learned so much. Like it's incredible how many different ideas I saw just in one day today. Because you just talk with people, with people that hacked the same assets as, as I did and you know, maybe had different ideas, maybe missed what I did, maybe came up with some idea that, that I didn't come up with. Also, we have show and tells, so some reports are chosen to be presented on stage to everyone. And it's also incredible what people are finding here. So it is a huge, uh, huge success for me, this also because I learned so much, because I met so many people, but also I'm happy with, with bounties that I got. So as you know from before, I had four bugs to be processed. The first bug, it was sort of split into two different duplicate groups because for live hacking events, we have dupe windows, which means it's not only the first report getting paid if there are duplicates, but within the dupe window, the bounties get split into all the reports. In my bug, it was, it was a chain and sort of two parts of the chain were rewarded differently. One part of the chain was a duplicate group with six other reports and we got almost $13,000. So each one of us got about $2,100. And the other part of, my, of this chain was $10,000 split between two reports. So I got $5,000, uh, which makes a total for this bag $7,000. Also, I told you I have Another bug that we submitted with Jonathan during the, the second phase of the event, during the in-person phase. Unfortunately, this one was a duplicate from a bug submitted in the first phase, which means we are not splitting the bounty, which means we are not getting anything for this report. So this 7K is everything for me for Epic Games. But also I had two reports for TikTok. One of them was rewarded $10,000 between two reports, so I got $5,000. The other one is the only report that is not a duplicate. Um, it was rewarded $2,000.
So I also got $7,000 from TikTok, which gives a total of $14,000 which is a, a amount I'm, I'm really, really happy about. Obviously, people here are crazy and, and for them it might not be a satisfying amount. For me, I am happy with this. I know I can only get uh, better. I hope to participate in these life hacking events more. So HackerOne and other platforms, you know where to send invites. And uh, for now, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you later. Yeah.